This is an introduction to the video series on the Ralph steam engine. As a six-year-old, I used to visit my uncle in the Adelaide Hills in South Australia. For hours, I would stand entranced in his workshop, watching as he worked on model steam locos and stationary engines. His modest workshop under the house included a small benchtop lathe and a drill press, but he often complained about the lack of a milling machine. Not that I knew what a mill was back then. I clearly remember experiencing the wonder at seeing a steam engine kick into life. In those days, a metho burner under the boiler was the common way of producing steam. Several years ago, after recollecting my own childhood experience, I decided that I should build a steam engine for my grandson. I wanted to build something matching the style of the simple fixed steam engines that I watched my uncle build and operate. There are many designs that fit this style, but I settled on the polymodel engine designed by Tubal Kane, known to his friends as Tom Walshaw, who was designing his models about the same time my uncle was building his. The original poly is described in the book Building Simple Model Steam Engines, and there is a link to the book on Amazon in the video description. I strongly recommend you purchase the book. There is a wealth of constructional information and the original plans that you will need if you decide to build Ralph for yourself. However, using the book is a little annoying as information is scattered throughout the description and the drawings and measurements need some reinterpretation for practical machinist operations. Much of this is because milling machines for amateurs were not widely available at the time and Tubal Kane specified a lot of hand operations and finishing. I have created a set of construction notes for Ralph that include machine operations, a complete bill of materials, and modified drawings tailored for machining operations. The Ralph construction notes are available for free on the Eclectic Builds website. They include substitutions for the original poly screw threads, many of which are difficult to obtain in the US, and some design changes to suit my own tastes. The construction notes assume that you have bought Tubal Kane's book, but the additional information will improve your chances of a successful build. As you can see from the pictures my daughter took, my grandson was just as captivated by his first steam engine as I was many years ago. Hopefully it will bring you the same delight. Please like and subscribe to see how Ralph comes to life.